welcome back to my channel. My name is Miranda if you're new here and if you're not new here, thank you so much for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please be sure to subscribe to me. I make videos every week or try my best to. This week I'll be showing you how to make a super cute summer two-piece. So if you're excited for that, then go ahead and keep on watching. Also, if YouTube still has my comments turned off for this video, then please follow me on my Instagram or Twitter and write your comment there and I'll be sure to get back to you. With that being said, let's get right into today's video. Here are the materials you're going to need for this project. This is going to show you how to create your top or dress piece, so just take a minute to look this over. And this is how you're going to create the straps. Now I'm just cutting out all my materials I'm going to need for this project. So I'm cutting out my 46 inches by 18 inches long rectangle. This will be the top or the dress. And now I'm cutting out my four straps that are 12 inches long by three inches wide. We're going to take a strap, put it right sides touching, and sew along the top and the side, leaving the bottom open. We're going to do this for all four straps. Turn it right side out, and now I'm just giving it a good press, and I'm going to top stitch along both sides and the top, leaving the bottom still open. Now I'm taking the top or dress piece and we're going to iron up about a half an inch at the bottom. And then we're going to fold it over again about an inch and this will create the bottom hem. For the top I'm ironing over another half inch. But this time, I'm going to fold over two inches. Now I'm just going to take that to the sewing machine and sew it. Now I'm taking that elastic that we're going to use. putting it under my machine and I'm going to stitch a line all the way across making a casing for this elastic. Make sure that your elastic fits inside the casing. This is what it'll look like. Now I'm taking a safety pin to my elastic and we're going to put it through one side and bring it out to the other. Make sure to pin down that edge so it don't go through your casing. And once you have it out, pin both sides and we're going to sew to hold it in place. Now we're putting the top piece right sides touching and we're going to sew down this seam. This seam will become our back seam. And since I use the salvage edge of the fabric, I do not have to zigzag or serge my raw edges. So I just open them up and iron them down. Now from that back middle seam, I'm measuring over three inches and this is gonna be where the straps will go. So I'm repeating the same thing on the opposite side. Measure over three inches, mark it with a pin, then we're going to take our strap and fold it to the front about a half an inch and pin it to our dress. 
Repeat the same thing for the other three straps. Now we're gonna sew it on following our stitch lines. And remember to do the back as well. Now our top is finished or our dress, however long you made it. And the straps just tie at the shoulders. You can also crisscross them if they reach. Moving on to the bloomers. This is the elastic you're going to need to cut out for your bloomers. So take a second to look this over. Cut out two leg elastics and one waist elastic. Take a pair of shorts that fit and pin it in half like so. I'm gonna add three inches to the side of mine. And when I cut this out, I'm gonna leave extra for seam allowance, but more at the bottom and the top. So now I have two front pieces that are mirrored. Now I'm gonna use this as my back pattern piece, but I'm gonna add a little bit extra to that short side for the butt allowance and cut out the two back pieces. I like to mark the back pieces with a pin just so I know until the finished product where my back is. Now I'm taking either the front or the back, putting it right sides touching, pin along the curve, and we're gonna sew it. Do the same thing for the other front pieces or the back pieces, whichever one you did first, pin along the curve and sew it. Finish off your raw edges with either a zigzag stitch or a serger. Now we're taking our front and back piece, put it right sides touching, and we're gonna pin along the side seams and the middle crotch. As you can see, one of my pieces was a little bit longer, so I'm just gonna trim that away to make it flush. And now we're gonna sew it. Once it's sewn, you're gonna need to finish off these edges as well with either a zigzag or a serger. And then we're gonna need to zigzag or serge the top and the bottom legs. Once it's done, we're gonna fold it up about an inch to create our hems. We're gonna pin this all the way around on both the legs and the waist. Then we're gonna take it to our machine and sew it all the way around, but we're gonna make sure to leave a two inch opening on all these hems for elastic to go inside of. Once it's done, it'll look like this. Make sure you leave those holes. Now taking our elastic, we're gonna put a safety pin to it, just like we did for the top, and put it inside our casing. We're gonna bring it all the way through and then pull out the edges, put them together, and sew it together. Put it back inside the casing and close the casing hole. You're gonna repeat the same thing for the leg holes if you want elastic in them. If not, you can leave it like this. It'll be a cute pair of shorts. But for my outfit, I wanted the leg elastic. Here's the finished outfit. If you guys liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you like my channel, then please subscribe. I'd love to have you. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.